I think timing is everything for that. Um, our, I was up at William Mary, our coach got fired. Um, my roommate, he also grad transferred to North Carolina. He was one of my best friends. And so um, just having the opportunity to come back here, play for Coach Dawkins, I mean, the program has really turned around and it's something to be excited about now. And so I wanted to be a part of that. And it was a really easy choice for me when it all came down to it. So I've, go ahead, what's it been like for you just the summer getting acclimated to the program and getting acclimated to the guys? What's it been like for you? Uh, it's, it's been amazing, honestly. Like, I haven't been home for an extended amount of time for four years now, and now I'm, I go home every night. Like, I get home-cooked meals and things like that. So um, it's been refreshing almost to be with my family, be with my siblings, things like that. So my friends that I've always had since I was a kid. So um, it's, it's amazing, honestly. It's early, but what's your sense of team chemistry with all of these new parts? Um, well, we... Having the 10 practices in the summer really benefited us. Uh, we were able to practice basically we 10 practices and then go to Spain together. And so, I mean, we have a lot of new faces that haven't played together, but we spent a lot of time on the court. So um, I think we're ahead of the curve in terms of if we d weren't able to go to Spain, then we are that, now. What was that trip to Spain like in terms of experience, but also the team body? Uh, it, it was my second time going. So, I mean, some of it was familiar to me, but uh, just going with the team and then playing games and like it was a unique experience because we would take tours in the morning and then um, Like go play a game later that day. So it wasn't like typical game. It was more relaxed But it was it was really fun because we were together pretty would much you, all the time. So how would you describe the level of competition? Uh, we were playing mostly like second division players over there. So I mean they knew how to play their professionals and um, like they can move the ball, play the right way. I mean, so I, I thought it was good for us just to see how the game should be played and things like that. Like, I mean, everybody wants to go play pro, and so seeing like what those guys are up close, even though they're second division players, like at least have a gauge of what you should be at least to be over there. So I think that was good for everybody. How has that on court chemistry developed over these past few months? I know you're coming in, Dazon's coming in too as a grad transfer. Some of these guys, how have you guys kind of? together on the court? Uh, I mean, it just starts in practice, like being together, shooting together, playing together every day. I mean, that's the only way you can really um, get better at that. Like, you can hang off the court, but then on the court, some, some guys off the court are not good friends, and then on the court, they have really good chemistry, and then vice versa. So just trying to spend as much time as we can on the court together and finding what each person likes, like where their spots are, what they do well, what they don't do well. And Coach Dawkins does a really great job of doing that as well. So he's... Um, He's great. What do you do well? What can you bring to this team? Uh, shooting the ball, obviously. Um, that's what I do. And then uh, just running the offense, being a leader, things like that. Um, but first and foremost, shooting. I'm how, much sure. watch, how much were you uh, where, watching this team during the tournament, uh, maybe against the Duke game or VCU? Were you watching those games? And did that influence your decision at all? Uh, I mean, I grew up with a lot of those guys, like Taco, Chad, I know BJ. So, I mean, like, I would watch games that way, and then, I mean, I remember watching the Duke game, like, I was with my girlfriend, uh, she was at UVA last year, so we were watching there, and the entire bar was cheering for UCF, so that was kind of cool to me, like, being up in Virginia, and then um, everybody cheering for UCF, so, um, but, I mean, it's always been home for me, like, I had season tickets right over there as a kid, section 105, so, um, I mean, I've always been a fan of UCF. It just, like I said earlier, timing's everything. So, what, um, was that, what was that era? You said you had season tickets as a kid. Is it when the arena opened? Marcus Jordan, like AJ Ronson. What were some of the, uh, every, some of the years? Every everybody uh, back in the old gym: Julius Peppers, uh, Mike O'Donnell, all those guys. And then Mike and them came over here, played a couple years, and then Keith Clanton, all those guys, and Jermaine Taylor. So. Uh, Pretty much everybody. I've I've been through every single era, so I've seen it all. And now you're wearing the uniform. Yeah, now I'm here, so it's um, I don't know. I guess it's a it's a good story, but I'm um, I'm just enjoying all of it. I really am. So it's a it's a dream come true so far. All right, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.